Hey everybody! Today we'll be talking about the newly released Snufkin's game. From the story to the art style and gameplay, we'll talk about it all. But let me tell you this now. If you like games that feel slow, relaxing, and comforting, then yes, you will probably love this game too. And here's why. When starting a new game, the very first thing that'll welcome you is a short and heartfelt introduction. And I know nothing about Toe Johnson or the original animated series that this game is inspired by, but this very short cutscene was everything. It was this scene, just two minutes into the game, that made me immediately curious about the series, and I do hope that I get to it when I find some time. After that was one of the most relaxing title sequence that I've ever seen in a game. It was very slow and quiet, all you could hear was a beautiful calming tune, with the sound of the river and the singing of the birds. And that's honestly what you will hear for most part of the game. Just a very relaxing tune that matches so well with its art style. I mean, even Snufkin's instrument sounds so nice. And I don't really know, but this art style seems so nostalgic to me even though I have never seen the series. But I guess what I meant is how it looks like a storybook I had as a kid. And I find that art style very charming. I especially love the cutscenes in this game. As for the gameplay, there are puzzles everywhere. Whether it's just crossing the river, trying to get to higher places, or doing a side quest, this game will let you get creative. But what I loved the most was the hide and seek part of the game where we'll be removing parks that ruin the valley. We get to use our instrument and ask help from the animals in order to remove all of the signs in the park. For the story, Snufkin's main goal here is to restore the valley. So we would have to help them remove all of the park to restore the valley to once it once was, while helping friends along the way. And those side quests that we have about Moom and Troll and the others are just really so heartfelt, because they perfectly display the purest of friendships. And you know, as someone who is still mourning the death of my very close friend in real life, she passed away last Wednesday, this game came to me at a very perfect timing, and it was really comforting and healing. So I'd really really love to thank Rafiri for sending me a copy of this game. You have no idea how much it helped me during this very difficult time. Snufkin's Melody of the Moon Moon Valley has been a really wonderful experience, so I am giving it a 10 out of 10 very cozy rating. And I'd also love to thank our dearest friends in Discord for your kind and comforting words. You guys are awesome as always. Thank you, and I appreciate you all so much. But that's about it folks, so what do you think about this game? Let us know in the comments! And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Indian Cozy Game Reviews! Bye bye